Hi, Peter Drennan here with Ian Healy on behalf of the Bulls Masters in PD Cricket. We're going to take you through the fundamentals of wicket keeping. And as you know, Drino, as well as anyone, the most exciting thing about the basics of wicket keeping is that that's what you have to master. The best wicket keepers stick to these basics and get really good at them. That allows you to feel good and become a great wicket keeper. Righto, now let's look at standing up to the stumps, whether it be a spinner or a medium pacer. You can separate your footwork out in two different ways on these occasions, and that's offside footwork. Let's imagine there's a right-hander in here, and of course he's always in here, or her, bat batting right-handed. So there's offside footwork, and there's leg-side footwork. For a ball that's passed down the leg side of the batsman, that's what you've got to cover. Of course, it's our job to do it. You can keep your inside leg, which is my left leg at this stage, anchored in this to get your head over your gloves. Look how wide I can get. I can get right out here and still have my head over my gloves. The body position is so important, and that's that straight back, nice bend in the thighs and at the knees, weight on the balls of the feet, not on the heels, not on the toes, the balls of your feet, and look how strong that can be. That can be right over there. Keep this inside foot anchored so that you can watch the ball, pass the bat into the gloves, and back to the stumps. Oh, he's gone, that stump, yes, he's got him. Now we kept our inside foot anchored for an offside take. Down the leg side, it's a skip step. So if I'm going to the left, which is leg side for a right-handed batter, uh, a short, sharp step on my left foot is first. So come out of the crouch, short step and a skip step. Now I'm in a grey position, once again, with my head over my gloves, watching that ball, which has disappeared for a little time because the batter's got in the way of it. It'll re-emerge, head over your gloves, take it in nice and softly, and transfer your weight by moving that inside foot back to the stumps and take off the bales. Again, noticed I did it with one, one glove. That's how I'd like to do it, down the leg side to a right-hander. Now, down the leg side to a left-hander, I'd still do it two-handed because I'm a right-hand dominant catcher, as we'll see. Adam Gilchrist was one that was a little different. He was a left-hand catcher. The ball went really into his left glove. So he used to one hand stump that way and then down the leg side, two hand, rather than transfer that way, the ball back into your dominant hand. Moving to either side, offside to a right-hander or down the leg side to a right-hander, I like to work along a straight line. A lot of people, Rod Marsh, my hero, had an idea of being in a semicircle. Look what happened to my head there. My big point is to get my head over my gloves, and a semicircle doesn't allow that. So I was along a straight line, straight out of my crouch. Straight. And enough, enough distance away from the stumps to easily take a wide one and still hit the stumps. The greatest challenge of wicket keeping is standing up to the stumps and taking successfully a leg side delivery that the batter has missed. Now imagine these are the batting stumps and you've normally got a big batter in front of you as the wicket keeper. This is tough. The ball goes right in line with this batter and then reappears back out here. You've got to have a really solid technique and wait to the last minute till you stop seeing it here on this side of the right hander and then go nice and low and strong and fast but keep your gloves nice and soft let's see how i go this is an imitation batter that you can put in front of you at training let's see down the leg side i don't even worry about those stumps at all it, that batter is no interest to me whatsoever it's just the ball only so nice low with your gloves stay late watch go go really late and you'll pick the ball up trust that you'll see everything about that ball before the bat and you'll be right after the bat it's only ball that's all it is oh, we better stop there The stumping, he's got him. It's a good bit of work from Ian Healy. Ah! 
That is brilliant. Oh, he's gone. That's done. Yes, he's got him.